be, I think this might be the last one, so I'll go a little longer. This, I'm walking back past the uh, public library. St. Patrick's was over there, Empire State Building back there, Central Park up there. And I'm coming up to 42nd Street, which is where you catch the bus at the Port Authority bus terminal. I think I've been turning it off accidentally on the last one, which was Empire State. So I might walk a little and then go ahead and uh, teach that little bit of the chapter. Oh, here's the girl. I think that's her. The one I was going to talk to and get on video. That's Laura. But I should say hi to her. I'm doing... Hi, Laura. I wish I got you on. I'm doing a tour. You don't want to say hi, huh? Okay. That's the homeless girl that I was talking to. When I first uh, got in, which she didn't get on video. Uh, I'm going to do like... I'll do a little bit of Second Samuel, I think it's chapter 20. Those that follow the teaching videos, uh, David had a particular, one of his key uh, military guys was by the name of Joab. And in the last chapter I covered, David is, got back into the city of Jerusalem. Absalom, his son, was killed. And Joab had replaced, uh, David had replaced Joab with a man by the name of Amasa uh, from the tribe of Judah. And that was like one of his you know, general slam type thing, you know, a lot of controversy, get rid of this guy. But what happened was, there was a, at the end of the last chapter I covered, if you remember, if I remember, the ten tribes of Israel were fighting with the tribe of Judah. I thought it was interesting because they were arguing after they didn't want David, then he's coming back. Then they had an argument. The ten tribes said, why is Judah think they're special? And they're the ones that brought King David back into the city of Jerusalem. So they were fighting over it. Like, he's our king, he's our king. The beginning of chapter 20, the one I'm talking about, in the middle of that, which is the last verse, the last chapter, in the middle of that little argument that the tribes were having, one man by the name of Sheba stands up and says, What part have we with David, King David? Every man to his own tents. Okay, another rebellion, another coup attempt, right in the beginning of his administration. Well, this man Sheba's on the run. And remember, David just appointed a new commander by the name of Amasa. And it's possible this commander, this new guy, did not really have the same experience or talent as Joab did. So he, David tells Amasa, go gather the tribes, go gather Judah, we're going to... And, and he gave him a three-day limit. He said, get them all together within three days because we need to pursue this man Sheba who mounted the latest rebellion. And an interesting thing that happens in the chapter, it simply says, he took too long. Maybe he was inexperienced. He took Amasa, the, the new commander for King David, he took too long getting the tribes together. And because it, he didn't have it in the three-day period. David does something interesting. He calls on his old team. Now, he calls the brother of Joab, whose name is Abishai. And he says, go ahead, and, go ahead and get this guy Sheba. Now, when David calls Abishai, the brother of Joab, he realizes Joab's going to be back in the fight. It was sort of like a way that he forced the resignation of Joab, which I covered before, and now it's like he realizes he, with all the problems he had with Joab as one of his top men, he realizes that uh, 
he needs to go back to Joab. And what happens is Abishai and the brother Joab pursue this man by the name of Sheba, and Joab runs into his replacement, whose name was Amasa. You can remember all that. Amasa was the guy who replaced Joab. And he runs into him, and look, Joab is cunning. Joab has like a dagger in his coat, and it says it fell out. That's what it means, King James says it fell out. But Joab took that dagger out, and he's now pursuing Sheba, the man who mounted the rebellion, and he runs into Amasa, the other guy that was supposed to be leading the troops for David. He says, how's it going, brother? Gives him a kiss. I'll add these verses. And Joab kills him right there. Lays him on the road. As a matter of fact, the other troops that are coming through, they keep seeing the dead commander, Amasa, on the road, who Joab kills. And it's sidetracking them. So Joab pulls his body off the road. Now, Joab's back in the fight. David's got the team who had experience back with him. And, and this is Times Square up here. And uh, because he's got his experienced team back, they're going to go ahead and get this guy, Sheba. Now, Sheba's on the run, mounting the rebellion, and he goes into a little city or town, which is one of the towns of Israel, and it's called Abel. Abel. And in Abel, this man, Sheba, takes up holes, like a stronghold. And what Joab does, Joab, Joab takes... Uh, he besieges the city, meaning they're going to go ahead and mount an attack on the city by the name of Abel. And a wise woman, a woman of Israel, sends a message to Joab. It says, Joab, why are you trying to come against one of the inheritances of Israel? Why are you trying to destroy a city that's one of our cities, it's one of the cities of God? And Joab says, I don't want to destroy the city. This proverb is about what this wise woman does. But he says, we're looking for this man Sheba. He's rebelled against King David. We're going to get him. So the woman, the wise woman of the city, says, we will throw his head out to you. Instead of the destruction of the whole city, we'll prevent the destruction of the whole city by the death of one which is a type of redemption, okay? It's a symbol of the cross. Yeah. Some good video there. So she goes back into the city uh, from the wall and tells all the other people, let's get Sheba, because Joab's going to tear us down. And they and they kill him. And, that, and that's the end of That's the primary part I want to cover in that chapter. So Joab succeeds in uh, getting this man Sheba. David basically has his old team back, his old experienced team, who knew what to do. And look, Job's bloodthirsty because he killed Amasa. This might be the, and I'll just kind of end here. So I covered that. Let's see, how long did I go? Not long at all, <laughs> which is good. This might be the last one. I forgot if I mentioned it to you. I was going to interview, I think that video might have cut off. I was going to interview one of the protesters in front of Trump Tower. And uh, she, did, she, she was nice. Obviously, she's liberal. But she kind of said, oh, no thanks. Like a lot of people have been, you know, interviewing the anti-Trumpers. So... This is the last one. Times Square. That's actually a video of the Brooklyn Bridge, which I have a picture of it. I could have went, that would have been a walk to the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, that should be it for the New York videos.